Yeah, we thought we'd let y'all see what uh, room number 1428 looks like. So This is the bay view. So when you first enter, there's a closet to your right. I see they've got extra cover, uh, ironing boards, and iron in here. Uh, plenty of hangers, it looks like. And then as you move into the room, there's a decent-sized television, uh, a pretty large... Uh, counter here with drawers and uh, I'm, my film is not too good but it's got your refrigerator and it has coffee in here if you are a coffee drinker uh, I, I like turn it on. anyway it's got a, a little desk area here oh, and I guess you would say a modern chair and it has a small sofa, love seat type uh, place to sit. <laughs> it's got a place that? to set your phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, it has a phone caddy. <laughs> but it's not charged. So. Okay, and it is a king size bed. And uh, let me yeah, show you the awesome view, view outside the window. If you're here going on a cruise, uh, from this room, you can look over to your left and you can see the cruise oh, terminal. there's terminals. the little metro. And uh, you see yeah, yeah, I see the little metro going around there. But if you want to see uh, the cruise ships, this is a good room to see it from. And what's the name of this park over here, Melissa? With the first one? Over wheel? there, uh, Bay, Bay something, Bay Town front, or Biscayne Bay. I don't know, it's Bay something. <laughs> okay, anyway, there's an entertainment area with uh, the large Ferris wheel over there. And, uh, uh, let me go back this other what other way and I'll show you what the bathroom looks like in here. Uh, the room seems to be clean and everything. The air conditioning is on and it seems a little loud, but uh, that's it's not loud to the point that it's disturbing or anything. But uh, got a lot of counter space here, which is always good. A lot of mirror. Uh, standard toilet here. And it does have the, uh, I, I don't know if this is the rainfall or if it has to be completely overheated to be the rainfall shower, but it's got one of the big shower heads. And uh, it's surrounded uh, with tile here. So anyway, that's what the room looks like. So if you plan on staying here at the downtown Miami Hilton, then uh, this is what you're gonna find when you get here. Here's an outside view where you uh, first pull in. And when you pull up in your car, there will be valets come out and uh, they'll get your name and they will give you a ticket and ask for your key so you can get your car back when you leave. But uh, yeah, you just give them your name and it's strange watching somebody else drive off with your car. But uh, then tomorrow morning, I guess we'll come down and give them the uh, ticket and hopefully we'll get a car back. The lobby and check-in area is on the eighth floor and the elevator opens up right in front of the uh, check-in desk. So it's really easy when you come up from your car to check in. Just off the lobby there is a patio area that you can come outside and you can sit and uh, I guess enjoy the sunlight. And uh, the view is not as good as it is from the room, but you can come out here and look around a little bit. And across the way over there is the swimming pool area, and I'm about to walk over there and take a look at it. They do have a restaurant and bar area in here, and uh, you can see it's pretty active tonight. It's a Friday night over here. Fountain area right here from the restaurant. The 
elevators here. There's a keypad and you just pit push for which floor that you're on. Go ahead and push it, boys. Okay. It says K. So we will take elevator K to our floor. They don't line so up on this floor. There are no <laughs> buttons inside the elevator. You just okay. choose and uh, it tells you which one to take. We were out of the room for a few minutes and while we were gone, the version cruise ship uh, has left. You can see it uh, pulling out of port out there now. It says Miami is always a good idea. And I got a nice little uh, lounge area out here for you. And over here it says currently out of the office. Again, here's a nighttime view of the area just outside of the uh, Pool. Here's a nighttime view from the pool area, and as you can see, there's a little bit of lightning going on in the distance there. But it really feels good out here now. There's a good breeze blowing, and it feels really nice. You're standing in front of the uh, Hilson. If you look right across the street, there's actually a Ferrari dealership. So, uh, if you're in the market for a Ferrari while you're standing here, well, you're in luck. There's a dealership right across the street. And then, after buying your Ferrari, if you're hungry, well, there's a checkers right over there. I forgot to close out the video last night. So, anyway. As you can see, there's a couple of ships in port this morning, and that's ours right over there. The Carnival Horizon will be getting on. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, gained some information from it if you're planning on staying down here at the downtown Miami Hilton. And uh, if you did like this video, video, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And y'all have a good day. Bye.